Reinforced Omicron Bandolia is one of the 32 slot packs that you can get for pretty much free from a side store request. And given how much inventory management occurs in this game, who doesn't want more inventory space? This quest is available for players after they have completed Living World Season 4 Episode 2 about in the system. And it's also a mandatory part of the Vision 1 Awakening Achievement Quest for crafting the legendary accessory vision, which is available once you obtain the Trans Stone. The wiki link is in the description for more info. So how I will go about this video is I will be dividing it into two main parts which is the overview, where I will talk about the essentials and which wiki pages to look at to go about the quest. And I will also include a simplified playthrough, should any of you want more details about completing a particular achievement. I will also slip in a little in the overview on which mission related achievements you can definitely do at the same time, if you want to do relevant vision achievements together. Timestamps are in the description, and let's get started. After completing the story Living World Season 4 Episode 2, you will be rewarded with a simple Omaka Pandolia, where this 20 slot bag is a prerequisite item for the whole quest. If you check Item Achievement Collection, there will be a series of achievements that will allow you to get a 24 slot bag as a reward, but this quest won't just end there. If you type slash wiki lasting bond, you will open up the wiki page directory that should look something like this. You will see that there are actually 3 parts of the quest, which you can complete them in this order to finally receive the 32 slot bag. If you click their links, you can see the details of the steps of what you will need to do, including map screenshots on where to go. What the whole quest mainly entails in no particular order are meeting some NPCs, hunting some bounties, completing certain events, collecting or interacting with some quest items on the map, Purchasing an item with 25 Diplorite Crystals which can be gathered on the map and 10,500 Karma from a hard NPC and completing two different meta events on Sense Web Alps. So overall, it is not too hard, just maybe for the bounties and meta events you might need the help of other players which you can either ask for help in the map chat or tag up with your mentor or commander tag to gather a group. Time-wise, I took several hours to complete them, but still managed to do all of them in the same day. So an extra tip for those who are also doing Vision or Sense Swap Owls achievements to want to quest that you can definitely do at the same time are Vision of Enemies and Vision of Action. For Vision of Enemies, grab a Memory Essence Encapsulator from NPC Etal near Automa Waypoint before doing achievements that will involve the Specimen Chamber meta, which is compulsory anyway in Part 3 of Lasting Bonds. And then for Vision of Action, this is a fishing quest that you can do which will be available after finishing the Gathering Storms meta that happens to be one of the steps of Part 2 of Lasting Bonds. You may also do the other visions or sensual house achievements if you have waiting time in between quests while on the map. I'll put the link to this wiki page in the description. You probably can just do the quest with the wiki as your guide, but if you wish for something more visual or could use some hints, you can stay on for the simplified playthrough of the quest. I hope you enjoy doing this quest while exploring Sandstrap Owls and getting to know the Omicron. All the best! Part 1 can be done fairly quickly by following these steps. With the simple Omicron bandolier in hand, head near a gate near Automa on keyboard and you will find a young NPC char named Effie. 
giving her the bandolier complete, we carry her loss together. Next, for missing her story, you can find Lord Keeper Rosan inside a hut heading up the wooden platforms. Once you find Rosan, pick dialogue options related to MP. For laughter on the bin, you will find Marlon standing near where some of the wooden platforms begin. For the good we do in life, first head to Evin's retreat and find NPC Evin. Once you have found Evin, talk to her with a dialogue response related to FB to complete the achievement. And lastly, for the Omokan soundbook, you will need to reach the southern yellow circle that is shown on the wiki screenshot first. When you are there, look for a room that looks like this. There is a jackal portal inside. If you head in the portal, you will go to a room on the northern area where you will find the Omokan soundbook. And with that, you will receive a 24 slot bandolier and we will head to part 2. Part 2 will take a longer time than part 1 as there may be times one needs to wait for metas and bounties to appear or to gather players. Either way, these are the following steps. First, talk to Effie and you will give her the upgraded bandolier, completing the storm that consumes all. For all stone hoofs stone hoof, you either need to start the bounty using the bounty board nearer to Automa Waypoint, or join in one that has already been started by another player. If they are missing, they may have been started by someone else, or if they are killed, then wait for a 15 minute respawn, the time needed for champion bounties. Anyway, they are quite strong, so it is a good idea to ask for help from the map or your guildies. And if there are no tags around, use a mentor or commander tag so people know where you are fighting one. For me, because I was too impatient to wait around, I decided to do it solo. I mean, what's the first that can happen? I managed to kill Stonehoof after two difficult tries. Next, for Iron Shell's Shell Fragment, like earlier, you can start this bounty if it's available at the bounty board near Automa Waypoint. This time, I didn't manage to solo it and decided to ask for help from my guildmates. I actually forgot to record the queue, so all I can say is it was very easier to complete it by just having another player to help out. Next, for the Smash Wars, you will need to defeat Zohakan which is only available when the meta gathering storms happen. You will know it begins when the Char Elders decide to head there, which starts an escort event, all the way until they arrive in the Cove of Zuhokon. Usually, players on the map will follow the meta of whoever is tagging up, which makes defeating Zohakan easier. After this event, you can also get the Luminescent Seaweed and do the fishing event if you are doing vision, where I will explain both later. Next, Artificial Diamond. This one can actually take a few tries because it is an RNG drop from these listed events. After several tries, I finally got the drop from this particular event. Next, Luminescent Sea Beat. Check for Drift Woods on the beach after defeating Tohakan, like this one to complete the achievement. An extra for those doing Vision or Sense Web Owls, you can also check the Drift Wood Jetty near Automa Waypoint. If Tirana is there or the fishing quest is ongoing, you can get it done so that you don't need to purposely wait again for the Gathering Storms meta to end. Next, Nakis and Zohakan's tree. Find this tree with their silhouettes carved on a tree at the mark location in the wiki screenshot. 
Last is the inquest manual on choleric elemental energy. Before getting there, make sure you have 25 difluoride crystals and 10,500 tama. You will need to complete this heart to purchase the item from Research Hotel. On how to complete this heart, first grab a magneton hammer up the stairs after the NPC. Target a glowing capacitor and press Q1 to fly to it and 1 again when you're it. This will charge up your skill 2 and use skill 2 to target the cannons. Then rinse and repeat skill 1 on glowing capacitor, skill 2 to damage the cannons until the heart is done. Once done, talk to Tail to buy the quest item and we will move on to part 3. Once again, pass the upgraded Bandolia to FP to complete Hope for Tomorrow. Then we are up for another 2 bounties. To get Star Color Bounty, head to the bounty board near Automa Weapon. These are legendary bounties so they may be stronger and harder to solo. So do try to gather a group or tag along with other players. You will get the Star Color Aetheric Clan after defeating Star Color. And for send up the desperate locker, if it's send up. Again, go with a group as he can hit hard. For his bounty, you will find his bounty on the bounty board near annual gel a campaign waypoint instead of automa waypoint. For Naki's bracelet, you will have to do the free event for the specimen chamber meta, which just involves defending a highlighted area. You will know the meta is up if you see portals has spawned around the map. Gather a group with a mentor or command attack if you need more people. Since you are already here, you can also do Omokan's Bow of Force by completing the whole meta by defeating the bosses. A quick reminder for those doing vision to bring a memory and capsule letter before specimen chamber meta if you want to get part of the vision quest done. Now, for Zohokan's letter, head to the Whispering Grotto in Elon Riverlands. Enter the cave underground. Keep heading deeper until you find a door. I will show how I get there. Once inside, fight some mobs and find the letter in the stolen chest. And lastly, you can talk to Effie and you'll finally obtain the 32 slot back. And that's all. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like, comment or subscribe. Thank you for watching.